Hello, my name is Bill Ager, and I'd like to share with you the Animal Wisdom Project. This is a collaborative effort between three internationally known photographers, Bill Ager, myself, Ken Winner, and Barbara Van Hoffen. Our images have been seen in galleries, covers of magazines, and in the Smithsonian Museum in DC. Together, we've collaborated to create this exhibit that has images of more than 30 animals from around the world. It's an interactive exhibit where people can go directly up to the animals that they like and appreciate and find out with their smartphones and tablets more about the animals' wisdom and the conservation efforts that are taking place around the world. We hope you enjoy this exhibit, and if you'd like to see more of the images, you can go to our website, which is animalwisdomproject.com. I love the giraffe, the, uh, the shadows, and the, the bear. I love catching the tongue sticking out on the bear. It's just so... I just love it. This is great. I like they're so close up and they're so real. You know, you really captured the the animal life, you know, what they're doing. They're playing, they're resting, they're looking for food. I am just absolutely amazed by the clarity of them. Uh, that's uh, the first thing I was going to say, and how crisp the pictures are is truly amazing, too. I mean, you could actually see every detail in this. It actually looks like I'm looking at an HD TV, to tell you the truth. I mean, the clarity on this is just uh, amazing. So I'm actually really, really impressed. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, this is real world stuff here. Yeah. It truly is. The amazing thing is this stuff's happening out there every day and we're here, we're in the middle of the city running around, you know? And there's parts of the world that just have this, you know, this wonderful beauty, that's for sure. I really like it. You know, with animals, they're constantly moving and changing. And so, let's say you go to the picture of the Wanaka, uh, and you're 50 yards away from them, you take a couple pictures. Now you walk, get a little bit closer. Now you take some more. So you keep keep taking shots. And even when it stands up, you know, you're going to take shots. And uh, uh, Lots of times you'll remember that there was one specific uh, position or pose that the animal took that you, you hope came out good. So you might end up with uh, 50 shots of that sequence, but in your mind you've got one or two or three that, that might be the good ones. Well, I love animals. I've loved animals since I was a child. And I had my little Dumbo that I used to carry around with me. And, and so there's nothing more exciting to me than going to Africa, whatever, Yellowstone, and photographing the wildlife, watching them, watching their behavior, and, uh, and that does it for me.